So here we have uh, Shane Bosworth from the Devil's Pit and Andrew Smith from Combat Athlete getting the final structure from the, ju from the referee. Shane Bosworth in the uh, blue Venom shorts. Andrew Smith in the Combat and Black. So we've got exchange kicks to start this lightweight contest. Catching the leg and a takedown there from Shane Bosworth. Andrew Smith coming down from uh, all the way from Sunderland, combat athlete, the gym. And when asked to, who would like, who outside the UFC would like to fight, he said anyone, anytime, any place, anywhere. Well, he's looking for a triangle here. Quite active in his guard. He's, uh, he missed that, but he's managed to regard quite quickly. And a nice sweep there, looking to take the bullet. Absolutely brilliant, that. Oh, good recovery there. Yeah, Shane managed to keep his arm in and managed to uh, pull him back around. Yeah, Shane is a. Uh, well, he was keeping his head in and keeping him against the cage. He's let the head go there. I think uh, Shane should be trying to drive him into the cage to try and prevent these. Um, it looks like uh, Andrew Smudge Smith has got a very active guard. Looks like he could be quite dangerous. Nice hip control. Hip guard there. Needs a little bit of head control with it. Oh no, a leg lock attempt maybe here from, uh, from Shane. Right, not written these rules as uh, no heel hooks, so he has to go for uh, no straight leg locks, leg locks only, no heel hooks at all, so no twisting leg locks. Now, in my opinion, with a with a leg lock such as this, if you don't have it straight away, you don't have it properly, and it's not worth hanging on to. Yeah, he should have let go of that a little sooner and uh, worked something else in my Smudge opinion. now with uh, head and arm control. Pulling Shane down to the ground. It looks like he's uh, he's definitely looking for stuff. He's looking to control the arms here, maybe uh, to try and take the back. He steps over there a little early. It sprawls quite well. It gets his hips down nice and low, and his legs back. Yeah, definitely, definitely got some good ability. Shane needs to keep that leg, he needs to drive forward, he needs to keep driving for this. Oh, and he's, he needs to not let go, he's going to give the back up here. Yeah, I think uh, Smudge is uh, working for the back now. Oh, he rushed out a little, just a little bit. Possibly pop over for the handbag though. Maybe into a triangle. Reverse triangle. Almost there, that, that was the 10 second. Oh, uh, uh, to see whether that shake could hold on. I think he definitely will do. That was an excellent first round there. Very good. Uh, who would you give that to Dave? I'd definitely give that to uh, Andrew Smith for the submission attempts. And uh, he was just constantly looking to, to finish. But very, very good work from uh, Shane Bosworth too. Good fight.
Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's nice to see uh, Andrew Smith is, is working very, very quickly with uh, nice uh, submission attempts from guard. I bet he wishes that that uh, yeah. round lasted a little longer. Yeah, definitely. It's nice to see that he's going from one submission to another as well. He's not just uh, looking for one submission and, and hunting for it. He's switching up. But Shane defending well. Let's see what this round brings. Right, so we're going into round two now. Second three minute round of this contest. Both fighters touch gloves. A little bit of leaping in and out of distance is quite common at amateur with the uh, lack of headshots. Yeah, you can get away with it a lot more when you don't have uh, a ramrod jab sticking in your face. Yeah. Some decent leg kicks going in though from Smudge. Yeah, I'm back, but uh, a bit of to and fro here. Yeah. yeah. It'll be interesting to see if. Um, Andrew Smith needs to get a takedown. He's, uh, he did look very good on the ground, but it, it's Shane looking for the legs. Um. I think Shane feels pretty confident in his ground game as well. He seems to like the takedowns, but he uh, he has um, had to avoid quite a lot of trouble on the floor. Now he's in side control, so this is a little bit better. Let's see what he can work from side control. He seems to have a decent position game, but um, the submissions are. Uh and maybe lacking the touch, whereas um, Smudge is, is very, very sharp with his submissions, isn't he? Yeah, um, Smudge's prediction for this fight was a win by arm triangle. Uh, I'm not sure what position, but um, he, seems to be, he seems to prefer to fight off his back. Now, this is uh, Shane on top here. I'm not quite sure. I think the referee might stand them up if there's nothing going on. Cause I, I, can't, I can't see if he's attacking for that far arm. What, well, nice knee to the body there. That was, I think that actually hurt him. The, uh, and maybe if he starts piece. making use of these, it'll uh, take a, a bit of sting out of Smudge. Definitely. If you carry on with him, it's, uh, they might not be an instant fight stopper, but they definitely wear you down. On uh, the nice hip movement there from Smudge. Again in uh, half guard. I think we've uh, witnessed tonight the uh, the body shots really taking the toll. I think in a couple of contests. Yeah, definitely. There's been some um, some good strikes for to say there's no um, no headshots in amateur. There's been some quite exciting striking going on. Because, and back uh, to guard now. Now this could be dangerous for Shane. It, very high guard now. Oh, he's got that armbar straight into it. Oh, I thought he'd escaped it there, but he kept it in. Oh, and he's escaped it now. It. Nice switch. Leg lock, leg lock attempts. Uh, Smudge count and they've reversed. Shane now on top. Making for quite an exciting contest. Yeah, definitely. Um, nice hip movement again from uh, Andrew Smith. Managing to regard and looking for that sweep to, to top position. I think we're coming to the end of the round here. And who would you give that round to, Andy? I think uh, I'd probably still give that round to Andrew Smith, but um, Shane definitely coming with some good strikes and some good positioning on the ground. Be interesting to see what the uh, corners say. I think the uh, Devil's Pit guys are going to be telling Shane that he needs to go out and win, win this round big or try and get a submission. Possibly even telling him to work the body shots. When you were talking to the fighters earlier, did you find out where the uh, smudge nickname came from? Was it a mistake with the tattoos or...? He, he didn't actually mention that, but um, it, it could be that. There's a good chance, I think. You've got me looking now. So here we go, all to fight for in this round. Both fighters looking fresh and eager to go. Just locking the cage door. Nice touch of gloves. 
So for sure, the respect. third and final round. Again, a lot of leaping forward. Oh, and single leg attempts. Nice takedown there from Andy. Big takedown start the round. Well, these guys still seem pretty fresh to say it's third round. Doing a lot of good work. A good pace well. of fight as well. Now we see Shane Bosworth uh, getting back to the half guard and now looking to stand up. Both fighters got great hook movement, great, um, great groundwork. There's been a, a very high level of skill in these amateur fights. Yeah, I'm impressed. I think uh, this is a really, really good show to get the, uh, the ground in for the fighters before they move into the pro game. Yeah, only the second show um, we are here, uh, Fuck MMA. Yeah, the, f the Fight UK MMA show, shot to Fuck MMA. Um, while we're on that, the uh, name's been changed recently uh, due to um, being dealt quite a strike from one of the uh, bigger promotions. Yeah, I don't think we're allowed to mention the name of the, uh, the bigger promotion, but they've definitely dealt this uh, show a big strike. Maybe they saw it as a threat. Now this could be Smudge looking for the arm triangle. Do you think he could go for that from uh, from Mount? Yeah, I think uh, he's probably chosen uh, the arm triangle as his uh, submission win of choice because you can get it from a few different positions. Well, Shane defending well, can back in control though. Andrew Smith holding that position well. It'd be nice to see. Uh, oh. He has Shiger got good control also. Andrew Smith, because uh, Shane's escaping well, he's doing the right things, but Andrew is staying in control, keeping on top. He's, ve he's very long-limbed and uh, seems to oh, use no, that well. A good stand-up again there from the, the referees, he really like to keep the action going in these amateur fights. But they are quite a short contest, three, three minute rounds, they've got to uh, pack the action in. And these certainly have been doing. Nice kick there from Shane. And two bucks from Andrew Smith. Anything you can do, I can do better. So it was a bit of a Superman takedown. Nice sprawl, good defence there. Very good. Well, he's still driving for it, still driving. Oh, oh that's impressive. Good, 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 good determination there from Shane Bosworth. Definitely, and it shows he's still got a lot in him at the end of this fight. Ten seconds left. Very well fought contest this. I think. Uh, the winner definitely deserves the winner. Then shouldn't really be a loser in a contest like this. Excellent fight from both fighters. I was really impressed with uh, both guys there, especially the active guard, Andrew Smith. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Let's also see. Uh, better known. And over to Andy Sledge for the uh, official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a massive round of applause for both fighters. Come on. Let's see the couple of families. Same 